Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Hey guys, today I want to have a heart to heart. So I get asked lots of performance questions, you know, how to make my query run faster, how to make my database faster, how to make my server faster. And so you get these all the time and here's the deal. It really comes down to two things. There's really only two things that you can do. Now, number one is easy. Throw money at the problem. Bigger, better, faster hardware frequently solves performance issues. So if you have no other options, if there's nothing else you can do, if you're literally trying to squeeze performance out, throw money at the problem. That is, that is your option one. I mean, it, it's actually the easiest option. I mean, it's so much simpler than anything else I'm going to say. So just spend more money. If your Azure SQL database is slow, go to a higher tier. If your local database is slow, buy bigger hardware. If you're having problems with queries, get more memory. Get faster disks. You know, throw money at the problem. That's the quickest way to solve any performance problem. Just keep throwing cash at it. When you don't have any more cash, because eventually the cash runs out, for most of us, not all of us, some of us are working for banks or whatever, and they will spend whatever they have to to make it as fast as they have to, and, the, you know, ta-da, done. However, on planet Earth, eventually we run out of money. Either you're working for you know, a startup or, or you're working for, you know, a nonprofit or schools or, I, you know, I don't know what, go government, really. I mean, funny enough for how big all of our governments are and how much money all of our governments spend, shockingly, not much of it's on IT. Eventually, you run out of money. So, when we run out of money, performance issues go into four basic slots. I mean, it's just there, there are four basic slots that we can try to deal with. If we're not going to spend money... Then we have to deal with these four slots. And this is our second option. And this, this is, and this is where it gets hard. And this is the, the heart to heart. The, 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 traditionally, these things were called come to Jesus talks, right? And, and, and no, I'm not saying that. And I'm not, I'm not belittling or anything about religion. It's just, just a, a term. But anyway, it, it, it's this, we need to, to, to step into the world, right? This is, this is the moment um, that, that I want you to, you know, to, you know, <laughs> I can't use the phrase. Anyway, I'm not going to. Anyway, the, the whole idea here is, is that what we need you to do is I, I get on board with the fact that if we can't spend the money, we have to do one of four things, or probably all four things. We have bad or missing statistics. Easiest thing to fix. Cool. Update the stats, see what happens, and if it not, okay, oh, shoot. No, no, it's no good. We have bad or missing indexes. Sometimes throwing an index on it is a fix. I mean, it really is. I mean, sometimes that is the fix. I know the running joke is, is developers think all we have to do is throw an index anywhere and it fixes anything. And that's just not true. So, you know, statistics are indexes. All right. If it's not statistics and it's not indexes, it's down to two other things, and that's code and structure, meaning your data structure is poor. It's not performing well because it's not structured well. You're going to have to look to restructure your data storage. You've done something crazy. You know, you don't have primary keys or you're not using clustered indexes or you're not using relational storage at all. You've just got these great big lumps of, of data inside of a, a relational engine, but it's not relational. I mean, I've got a, a video I posted earlier on that. I will make sure to put a link in here for that. Um, it was a bit of a rant. But you've got no constraints, or you're not using foreign keys, or your foreign keys have a with no check. I mean, it, it's something structurally is wrong, and therefore st something structurally must change to increase performance. And I know, I know, I know, I hear you, I hear you. We can't change the structure. Okay, well, throw money at it. Oh, wait, there's no more money. Well, okay, update the statistics. Statistics are updated. Fix any missing or bad indexes. That's done. Okay, then it's structure. Okay, or, or, and this is, this is the other one, code. 
your T SQL code is wrong or poor or weak. And so we have to change the code. And I know, I know, I know, I hear this story all the time. We can't change the code. We can't fix performance. There is no magic run faster switch. This is the key that you have to know, you have to understand. There's not a secret MVP decoder ring that they give us when we become MVPs and now we can magically go in and hit the switch that, that whew, look, it's all faster. And that's why, you know, so many MVPs are consultants and they get paid big money. No, that's not what's going on. There is no magic run faster switch. We have to address, you've got two choices for performance tuning. Option one, money. Option two, we make changes to the database. We don't have any choices there. Those are our two options. You cannot say, I need it to run faster, but all you can do is update stats and add indexes. If we can't change the structure, if we can't change the code, I am absolutely unable to give you even the remotest promise, even the remotest suggestion of a promise that we can make things faster. Spend money on it or make changes. Those are your choices. This is your, your moment. I just need you to understand that. Spend money or make changes. Those are our only two options. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.